And we'll begin our walk around with this 1999 Sea Ray 29, starting with the trailer. As you can see, the trailer is in excellent shape. And we're going down now the starboard side. It's in a bit of a tight space, so I'll probably have to wiggle around here fairly soon. Just to give you a look at the underside, though. It appears to be very, very good. The boat's very clean. Coming down the starboard side. Looking at the trailer tires. Everything seems to be in tip-top shape on the trailer. Three axle. To looking underneath, trim tabs, Alpha One drives. We'll continue our tour down the port side. See once again. I'm standing in the middle of the foredeck area here, just coming back. Typical Sea Ray, very long, spacious foredecks. And then I'm going to go a little bit forward, show you the anchor, the winch, electric winch, spotlight. And looking back, three deck hatches. windshield, three-piece windshield, a four-piece actually with a bottom that comes out, windshield wipers, and looking down into the cockpit itself, and then through the stern. Starting our tour of the interior, nice big wide platform on the stern, tow bar, lights, and nice big locker in the back for fenders, what have you. There's also a, uh, looks like a shower outlet in here, or a flush, either one. Confirm that with the owner. Looking into the cockpit, we have a bench seat in the back. And a bench seat facing aft to port. In a little cabinet, there's a uh, switch panel and perco switches. A step up to the side deck. A sink with a shower attachment. And uh, storage space underneath. A little bit of cracking in the upholstery. As befits its age, now coming forward from the aft part of the boat, there's a huge bench seat to port. The door to the interior. Huge windshield with wipers. Captain's seat with bolster. Move that down, down and up. Captain's seat looks good. Mercury throttles, Garmin 546S GPS, Raytheon radio. All 
Okay, just an instruments compass. And there's an additional switch panel down in here. I don't want to force it. Very workable, great looking cockpit area. Again, speakers in the sides of the arch. Bimini could use a bit of cleaning. Nothing major. Once again, there's a place to put a table and the rear bench seat and the door to the transom. let's do a tour of the interior of the boat. I'm standing roughly midships looking forward to the uh, the large large I would say queen size berth. Lots of space here. Very airy. The hatches should provide ventilation. The boat is air conditioned. A flat screen TV. It's actually an HP. Probably use it as a monitor as well. Covered space and the mirror now coming back there's a privacy curtain you can draw across now looking toward the stern on the port side is a very large settee space here which I'm thinking drops down into a double berth as well lots of covered space all around the carpets have carpets the actual carpets in the interior have actually a snap-in liner as well keep the boat immaculately clean. Looking aft on the port side is a, another double berth, private with a door, and a large hanging locker here. Lots of storage space for your, you or your guests in here. There's a table and an insert stored. We won't be moving those, but it goes uh, basically across the boat, so it's a long berth. And then on the starboard side, as you come down the stairs through the companionway, is a fully enclosed head. The head actually has a fold down. I think it becomes a shower seat. I don't see the shower attachment, but uh, that's something that we can discuss when the time comes anyway sink good looking head everything's very very clean on this boat once again now looking forward on the starboard side is the fully functional galley which is quite large for about this size now you have a fridge very clean everything is very clean on this boat Lots of covered space underneath, lots of covered space up above for storing things. The bins are very deep. You've got a GE microwave. And if we uh, look forward again, there's the flat screen TV and the big berth. Now what I'm going to do is uh, turn this off for a sec and then turn it back on and we'll tour the stove. I have to move some stuff. Underneath this uh, hatch cover here is very, very clean Euro Kira stove, two burner. Kept with a pad and the cover. Particularly clean. So once again, starting up forward. No signs of leakage, the overhead's all very clean. And then coming back, port side, got your settees and a large table, lots of storage space. And to starboard is the galley. And going back toward the companionway, we have the head on the starboard side here. And 
port is a large private cabin with its own door. And underneath the stair here is uh, your bilge pump control, air conditioner vents, and all that. engine room is actually very easy to get to. There's just a lifting pull-up hatch in the uh, aft cockpit here. If I can get my camera to focus. It's kind of one of those off again, on again, foggy kind of days, so it's having a little trouble. Fire suppression system. As you can see, everything looks pretty clean in the engine room. Manifolds and risers look good. Da da da. And over here, I believe that's the AC unit. Okay, well, on the front, all the belts and everything look good. And then over on the port side, big batteries. And I believe way in the back here is the gen set. Apparently it works, but it has a loose wire somewhere on the start. It looks quite clean. It's kind of hard to get to, so. Then to uh, drop the hatch. Very easy process, just moving it down. It's all hydraulic. The back seat lifts up in concert with the hatch. Quite simple to do, easy to get at.